name is Jesse Green, and I am the engine team leader of Cornell University's FSA team. We design and build a formula-style race car to compete against universities from across the world. This is our engine dyno, which we use to test various engine components, as well as make our fuel and spark lamps. This year, MCC DAC kindly donated to us a USB 2416 data acquisition system. These are all the electronics for our engine dyno. This is the ECM, which controls how the engine runs. This is the load controller, which controls how much load the dyno places on the engine. These power supplies are used to power sensors as well as the load controller. And this is the USB 2416, which at the moment has thermocouples and pressure sensors wired to it. Wiring the USB 2416 was very easy. Pressure sensor signals are wired into the signal channels of the deck. The grounds for the pressure sensors are tied into the DAC so that there is a common ground among the two. The thermocouples have a differential signal, both sides of which is wired into the DAC. And then all that was left was plugging in the power and USB cable, which sent all the data to the computer. This is the Daisy Lab software that takes the data from the MCC DAC and then converts it so that we can view it while we're running the engine dyno. These two modules take uh, basically say what channels we're recording and then we use uh, three different transfer functions to change um, the pressure sensors into uh, from voltages to PSI and then we change uh, the Celsius reading of the thermocouples to Fahrenheit uh, and then we go ahead and display them using the graphing functions. Uh, so at the moment we're recording um, exhaust pressures on all four cylinders uh, which we graph here then we are also recording two oil pressures before and after an oil restrictor for our turbocharger and we're also recording our four EGTs uh, which are exhaust gas temperatures which are thermocouples to make sure all four cylinders are about the same in terms of how much oxygen and fuel they're getting. The four EGTs, uh, exhaust gas temperature sensors, are here. Um, they're wired to this box which then goes to the uh, MCC DAC. The four um, Exhaust pressure sensors are wired up through the head where there's small ports that go down into the, um, into the exhaust, uh, basically into the exhaust ports of the head. Uh, so these four lines then go over there, which is where the pressure sensors are located. And then the oil pressure is, uh, there's one pressure sensor that's off here, and then there's one down there which you can't really see too well. Uh, but it's before and after an oil restrictor, which then goes to the uh, turbocharger. Uh, this data is very useful to us because it tells us if we're about to basically blow up the engine or not. Um, it helps get a read on the vitals of the engine and make sure that we're not doing anything stupid. Um, and make sure that basically that the engine's healthy. We can make sure that the EGTs don't get too hot. Uh, also make sure that the four cylinders are fairly close to each other so that um, you know that one cylinder isn't getting less fuel than the others and then the oil pressure just lets us know how healthy to make sure that the turbocharger is getting enough oil and doesn't um, ruin the bearings on the inside. We would just say, like to say thank you very much to MCC DAC for giving us the opportunity of using their product. It's been extremely helpful in tuning our engine on this dyno and it will be extremely useful in the future for succeeding going faster with our car and making sure that we don't damage our engines.